Let's, let's switch it up. Let's move from. Uh, so as we were saying, the Olympics are over tomorrow, so we can move past that. We're not going to have basketball for a while. But guess what? That's OK, because we got football. We got the NFL. We got college football. Um, that's right. Florida State. You're a Florida State guy. You're Seminole. I see you in November when Florida State comes up to Notre Dame. Go Irish. Um, gee, you a college luck. football guy? Good luck. Huh? Who? You a college football guy? Sometimes. I don't think I ever asked you that. Basketball. It's like college football, man. Yeah, basketball. <laughs> that that <laughs> all right, we go go from here. All right, it's time to continue our uh NFL divisional preview series. And we're gonna go now to the AFC East. So we're gonna definitely, Steve, definitely, definitely. Yeah, go Irish. I'm with you, bro. I'm with What's you. What's those things on them? What's some green things on the screen? Those are called shamrocks. Shamrock? Like Ken Shamrock? Those are like called wrestling? Shamrocks. You see this here? You my see man that? can't fight, boy, with a stance see like that. that you get that all, my... all the way from here to Mississippi, boy. <laughs> hey, man. But hey, you out here two pieces of people, man. Lucky the leprechaun. All right. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's go ahead and um yes, last name. Life is good, good baby. Right. Your life is life good. Life is B. good. Even the like preseason. I'm over here like scoping the game. Mitch like... said, life is good, B. <laughs> all right, all right, for real though. Um, we're we're gonna go. Let's talk some AFC East football, man. That's one of the. That's an interesting division. Oh, okay. That that's gonna be in a very interesting division right there. And um, let's get to it. Where you want to start? Gee, I was picking it last time. You got it, bro. Buffalo, all right, so Miami, New England Jets. Which one? Ooh, that's tough. Probably. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh the Dolphins first. All right, the Dolphins. Okay. I like Buffalo second. It's a toss up between the Patriots and the Jets. Like the Patriots could be, they could take that third sleep slot. I don't know what Aaron Rodgers is going to show up. Right? He looked early on in camp, or when they had they what was involuntary. <laughs> he looked like he was um. Yo, stop. Yeah, he looked stop. like he was um. He looked like he was still healing from his injury. So it depends. It, it depends on which one, which which Aaron Rodgers show up. I think I don't know. I think with a decent Aaron Rodgers, you you're gonna have a better record with, than the Patriots with that defense and yeah, a decent Aaron, a Aaron Rodgers. Decent Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Yeah. You don't even need yeah. Aaron Rodgers to be Aaron Rodgers. You just need him to yeah. be Aaron. They can rush the passer. They can stop the run. They have a, a lockdown corner, first team All Pro, both years in the league, and Sauce yeah. Gardner. Um, that yeah, that defense is special. And and again, now we get some uh, providing Aaron Rodgers is healthy. You get some competent quarterback play, which is more than you will have had in the last few years. And that is a team that can definitely uh, compete for probably second in the division. But then again, that division might be up for grabs, and we'll talk about why. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, G, what, what order are you saying the division should go I in? Said the Dolphins first. Mm -hmm. I like uh, Buffalo second. Okay. It's hard to see with, with Buffalo, but you can't go wrong with Josh Allen. Um, mm -hmm. And then, then it's a toss-up between the Patriots and the Jets. I was looking at the Patriots the other day, and um, new quarterback. Uh, they don't really have an identity. New coach. Um, and so it's going to be a lot of times that's a good thing, especially when uh, football, when these defensive coordinators don't have a lot of tape on your on your special weapons. Sometimes mm -hmm. they get caught by surprise. So that's true. Uh, mm. uh, just just. Yeah, that's what I got, man. Um, I don't have a lot of st stock in them. I, I see one team coming out of not two this year. Um, and if it is, it might, it's probably going to be Buffalo or uh, Miami. Definitely going to be my Miami. Miami is definitely going to be there. Nah, I got a problem with Miami G. Um, you want to go first, Transformer, or as far as order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? And then if you want, we can look at the schedules after that as well. I'm 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 close to what G is saying. I do got Miami finishing first. Um, mm -hmm. but my second team would be the Jets. Mm -hmm. I think I think if you like with that, like we've seen that defense carry that team, but, yeah. but the quarterback just couldn't get it done, couldn't get a field, could put us in field goal range. You can't get us in the end zone. We just couldn't put enough points on the board. I, I think well, that what, what stat came out. I think if there was an average like thirteen or fifteen points, they would have won like ten games. All yeah. they needed was yeah. points. They just needed to score, yeah. be able to score on offense. So I think yeah. with Aaron, you don't need Aaron to be what he was in Green Bay. You know what I mean? Right. You don't need MVP Aaron. You just need somebody who knows the game, who mm. can make the right decisions. He don't have to be the one that's rolling out all the time, but he can put the money. He can put the uh, the ball on on, on point. Whenever you need that, 
that that fourth quarter throw, you need that drive or that extension to keep going. I don't think they've had that in, in what since uh what's a butt fumble's name? Sanchez? Yeah, yeah, so I don't I don't think you've had a decent quarterback since then, you know what I mean? So I think that, you know, with that defense, competent quarterback, and you got the weapons at receiver, you got the weapons at running back with Brees Hall, you know, you definitely can make some noise. Um, and like I said, we'll look into the schedule then, but I, I got Buffalo third. Um, right. I think they, you know, I think they regressed a little bit as far as the roster. Um, I do like their pickup for my, my boy from uh, Florida State, the receiver. They did get uh, Curtis Samuel. So, I mean, those are, those, are, those are new guys that you got to build chemistry those are, with. Those you know what I mean? Pickups. Those are great pickups, but you know, you got to build that chemistry with when you already just yeah. had you lost your two, you lost your one and two receivers. So mm -hmm. you got to restart that over. And I think we're going to see a lot of that at the beginning of the season where yeah, they're just yeah. trying to figure out the plays and trying to figure out what we want to do. And I think that could, could be costly when it becomes to those division standings. And Patriots, you got nobody over there, man. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you don't cool. know who your quarterback is. You got mm -hmm. you drafted Drake May. You still got that other kid over there. I forget his name. You got Jacoby Brissett who's starting. Joe this Milton. Joe Milton. So, I mean, yeah. you don't know what you want to do over there. So, <laughs> I mean, with that, it becomes a disaster. You know what I mean? I right, think right. it's uh, – what's uh, uh, Mayo's first year coaching? It's going to be his first year coaching? Yeah, Rob Mayo. Yep, yep. He's, he's, in for, he's in for a barn burner. Yes, he is. You know? Um, let me, let me take a quick second here, um, give a shout-out to Super Chat. Nino, thank you for always supporting the channel, brother. Appreciate that. Nino says salute. Big super chat, appreciate it. Anybody wants to, um, you know, be kind enough to donate super chats or Cash App or Venmo, we really appreciate that. All that stuff helps us to, you know, make the channel better. Whether it's, um, you know, getting better software or getting better equipment or whatever, because we are doing our absolute best to bring you the best sports content we can. So thanks again, Nino, for the super chat. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Um, yes, where were we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sanchez always always going gonna be the butt fumble. That's terrible. It's terrible to go down like that um, in, in, in history because he wasn't a bum. You know, he played in – I think he's got the – I think he still has the most road playoff um, – yeah. most road playoff wins in history with four. And he made an AFC championship game. Two AFC championships. Twice, I want to say. Yeah, right, twice. Years, yeah. So, yeah. like, he, he wasn't a bum. Now, he had an elite defense and a strong run game, but, you know, that butt fumble is always going to hurt. Man, so Always going to hurt. But I think if you – like like I said, in the point of Aaron Rodgers being there – you don't need Aaron Rodgers to be Aaron Rodgers. You don't no. need him to be that that bad man that Steve you need him likes to be to a guide. Him. You just need him to be a guy, man. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. That's uh, correct. I'm curious to see what um, Aaron Rodgers show up. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he can make it out of a, a, a full season. No, he. I, I definitely agree. All right, so let's do this. Um. Oh, let me get mine. So I don't believe in Miami, and the reason I don't believe in Miami is because of Tua. Tua cannot beat good teams, and he cannot play when the weather drops below 40 degrees. Not not even freezing, but below 40 degrees. Like, he's just terrible. And you play in a division where chances are, unless you are a division and a conference with all these outside teams that are really good and come playoff time, most of them are up north or in a cold environment, so we can't count on Tua. And even just talking about division, what is the division races normally come down to, right, that that November, December time frame, right? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It gets cold. Tua got to leave from South Florida where it's warm. Think about this, right? Tua, born and raised in Hawaii, right? Then he goes to Alabama. Now he's in Miami. He's never, never had been in the North. Right. He can't deal with it. And we see it. And I'm not trying to disrespect Tua. He's, um, He's a he's a very solid player. They put a lot of weapons around him. They have a really good offensive coach in in Mike McDaniel. I'm not mad at any of that. Yeah. Just the problem is just you know you can't count on him to win these games. And so you know I'm 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 not there with the Miami piece. So um, I'm also not there with Buffalo because I totally agree with um, the transformer about uh, Josh Allen having to rebuild the chemistry with new receivers. Um, they do have a really good tight end. Is uh, is it Knox? I think it's Knox. Uh, yeah, yeah, Knox. No, and Kincaid. Kincaid and Knox. Kincaid, they, they, Kincaid, right. Kincaid, yeah. they got the right. And, and if you notice, more and more teams are going to this two tight end thing that we saw the Patriots dominate with, with Gronk mm -hmm. and Aaron Hernandez. So now you see out with the Raiders, you see uh, Brock Bowers and, and Michael Mayer. Um, I think um, the Bears brought in another tight end. So you got him and 
matter of fact, uh, Mercedes Lewis is still there, but he's old as dirt. But you got you got a couple of tight ends with Cole Komet in uh in the man is old as dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercedes. Mercedes been around a block. <laughs> but but look, if he couldn't play, they'd have cut him, right? They'd be like, We're not we're not paying nobody to just be out here, right? Because he's still one hell of a blocker, man. I mean, he played for us, yeah. you know, last year and a, year, a couple of years prior, and he That's was right. they were just right. like, Bro, the man can block. Yeah, he can block. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, yeah, Dolphins must have home field advantage. That's absolutely true, last name. I, I agree, but I don't think they're gonna be able to get it because they have to be able to win those away games come November and December. And Tua can't do it. And also, you got a track team, right? Track uh, track team on the outside as your weapons. And those things slow down. Those things really slow down when the weather changes. Now, don't get me yeah. wrong. Mike McDaniel, he loves to run the football. But it's it's a creative running game, not a power running game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, definitely, Steve. I, you, you know I agree with you. Tight end you. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah. Um, so when it, when it comes to that, uh, let's see back to it. So I'm, I'm kind of looking at the jets kind of by default again, Aaron Rodgers has to stay healthy, but I think the jets can win this division. I think the bills have enough in place to come in second. I think the dolphins third and the Patriots last. Um, yeah, the Patriots just, they don't have much man offensively. It's they're they're in a tough spot. They're going to be good defensively. They're going to be relatively disciplined. We don't know what they're doing at the quarterback position. What's up, G? What you got, man? Faces, <laughs> bro. Like, no, nah, man, no, 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 no. That's your, that's you. You got the the Jets coming out first, right? I do. Yeah. I do. You, yeah. So, I mean, I do. It, it's yeah. not by a lot, you know. I think it's going to be. A, no, I, I think, think it's going to be a close. Part. I think it's going to be a close yeah, division. I, only reason why I like the Dolphins is because they're a more established team. In that mm-hmm. division, and, and then normally what happens is is teams build their teams to beat the other uh-huh. teams. Each, each That's division. true. All right, let's let's look at this, right? So you 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 got dolphins here. So let's let's look at this schedule, right? So oh, here we go. I'll, I'm literally pulling out my pad right now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so Jacksonville and the Dolphins. Oh, that's the opener. Interesting. Okay. W. Um, that's a w. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll they'll be Jacksonville. Right. They got Buffalo. In week two, that's early. That's I think that's early. I think they can win that, and that's at home. I think they yeah. can win that. They go to Seattle next in week three. I think they lose that game. I think Seattle's going to be physical. I think uh, Mike Mike McDonald's is taking that. He's taking that Ravens defense out there. Obviously, he's not. He's <laughs> obviously <laughs> you know, Steve is wild. <laughs> so obviously, he can't take the Ravens defensive personnel with him, but he can take the scheme and. Um, you know, there's a reason he he's got he's got that job. Um, so yeah, okay, I so think you got Seattle losing. I got him losing. I mean, you got Seattle, yeah, you got him losing Seattle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tennessee, I think they can beat Tennessee because we're still yeah. not sure about Will Levis, and Tennessee doesn't really have any weapons, even though they picked up Calvin Ridley in the offseason. So mm-hmm. I think giving giving an elite uh, wide receiver to a young quarterback is a very nice gift. Um, New England at New England, I think they'll beat New England. Beat That's still early in the season, so I think. They can it'll it won't be cold yet. And again, we have no idea what New England can do offensively. I don't think it's much. Um at Indianapolis, if Jonathan Taylor's healthy and um Anthony Richardson is healthy, Indianapolis gonna punish them boys. Coming uh, off a bye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Arizona. Um I think, I think Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Buffalo, that's November third now. Temperature dropping up north now. So two are gonna be in trouble if he, you know what I'm saying. And it's so, early in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, um, I we'll think be counting. That, uh, you're not counting. I'm just, I'm just running down the list. No, no, yeah. no I'm saying like, what are we saying? We, that's a that's oh, a oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's an L at Buffalo. And, okay, that's an L. Yeah, yeah. So they go out, they go out, and they play, they play the Rams next at Los Angeles. That's a game that'll be a track meet. I think they can win that game though. Okay. I'm I'm concerned about the Rams secondary. I don't think they'll be able to hold down uh the passing offense and it's going to be in the perfect conditions. It's in the dome 75 degrees. Two is going to light that up. Okay. Um Las Vegas, they will beat the Raiders. I think they beat the Raiders. Yeah, the Raiders just don't have enough. Um New England. Uh so I think that's New England. Yeah, yeah. I, I think just so. like New England don't have enough. And and also New England has to come down from New England in late November to Miami. That's always yeah. a tough late game for them. Yeah. Um at Green Bay, we already know the answer to that. November? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Green Bay gonna mm-hmm. beat them. 
Uh, let's see. They got the they Jets. Go. Oh, but they in Miami. Oh, let me turn off the banner too, so we can see. All the Jets are in Miami. I think. I think if the Jets are healthy, they'll beat them. I mean, if, if Aaron Rodgers is healthy, really, you okay. gonna put Tua up against? Come on, man. Tua up against Aaron Rodgers, and then I tell you what, though, that matchup that that Tyreek Hill versus um uh uh Sauce Gardner, because I heard that Sauce may be traveling more this year in terms of not just playing one side, but following the best receiver. So if he does that, we'll have a great matchup with him and Tyreek Hill. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to go okay, with so you got New York winning in Miami. Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. Um, Houston, I got Houston winning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Houston, really good defense and an outstanding, outstanding young quarterback. They can run the football. We saw them win the division and win a playoff game last year. Really good team. And they didn't really lose anything, but they gained um san francisco they are going to get beat by san francisco very very physical team um at cleveland on december 29th they're gonna lose that game <laughs> yeah now. yeah and cleveland got an elite defense and pass rush so and if chubb is healthy they're gonna they're gonna punish him and slow the game down and take possessions away from miami so that and um at new york they're gonna lose that one too so you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Miami nine. can't win this division. They can't. You're saying they're going to go eight and nine? Yeah, yeah that's I, what he that's got. What I, Based off I his prediction. Wrong, but that's what I got. Nah. <laughs> I had 10 and seven, but. Yeah, I don't think they. I'm, I'm saying that's what I got. I mean, I, I, a big I don't have to. We, eight and yeah. nine. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not Bruce Stradamus, but, you know, that's what I see. Um, Yeah. That, 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 that's what I think it's going to be. So, you know, um, this is going to be interesting to see, though. I, I'm, I'm surprised. What y'all think, chat, man? Chat, give us your uh, give us your order. AFC yeah, East. Give, AFC East, guys? yeah. Give us, give us your how you got the division um, playing out. Definitely would love to hear that from y'all. And then we'll go to the NFC East after that. Matter of fact, all right, let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone lines, y'all. And uh, you guys can put it in the chat or you can call in if you uh, want to share with us your order of the AFC East and how that's going to play out. So that's going to be 904-219-8264, 904-219-8264. Uh, let's get it. Yeah, call us up. Tell us how you see the AFC East playing out. Um, if you want to mention any key storylines you think that are going to play a role in that, do that. Or you can put it in the chat. Let us know um, what you think that final order is going to be. Oh boy, we is on football talking it. Yeah. Okay, Steve has Jets, Bills, <laughs> Tours, and Pats. Um, Tours, not even the Dolphins, boy. Like, that's crazy. I think, I think that's what I had as well. That's yeah, that's about right. I li I like that, Steve. We think alike. That's good on some things, <laughs> but no, I, I like that. That's pretty good. Um, that must be that Clover love that y'all got going on over there. What's that? That Shamrock? You said Shamrock. What's that? Like, that Sam Rock love y'all got going on. That's the chemistry y'all building up right now. I'm sorry. Is that 11 national championships and seven Heisman trophies and uh, seven it NFL? Went like the 50s. But don't worry about all that, man. <laughs> they, count. they count, brother. Because I'm <laughs> like, right. the last time y'all was in a national championship game, I believe Alabama beat y'all how much to what? 42 to 14. Hmm. And you had the, what's that boy from Hawaii name? <sighs> man, Titeo. That boy did what now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want you to relive the past, bro. I apologize. Yeah, that that, 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 that game that was hurt. Violent. That man, was violent. I, I was a uh, I was in Korea when that game uh, came on, man, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was rough. One of my soldiers, he was from Alabama, kept running in the room. He's like, "So I hope so." Woo, they, they smoking your boys. They swear. I was like, "Damn." Yeah, yeah. It but that bad. thing, that thing ruined Monte Teo's career. <laughs> It did. Because after that, the, like, it was over for him. He had the number one defense in the country that year, too. Mm. And just got, yeah, cool. got me handled, ramrodded. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, so uh, where were we? Last name, I'm sorry. We got uh, Buffalo. Last name has uh, Buffalo, Buffalo first. New York, Dolphins, and Patriots. Looks like people, people are not high on the Dolphins here. G, what's going on, man? 
Mm, I, I just think when you got those type of weapons, man, I mean, yeah. Granted, I think he can win a the, – the games in the cold be like the playoff games more for me. Like when he's in the playoffs and Tua's but, got to play in the cold, like he's not going to win. But, I mean, he's not going to lose – he doesn't lose like all of them. Like it, it's not cold in every well, single situation that he's going to be in. Yeah, but it's not just that, though. He doesn't, he doesn't play well against the better teams either, though. That's the other problem. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's a fact of of life when it comes to it. Is he is he very good when you put everything around him? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you know, um. All right, Bills. Uh, Nino has Bills, Dolphins, Jets, and Pats last place. Okay, that's interesting. He has the Dolphins second. He has the Bills winning the division again. I think the Bills are going to lean on the running game even more so this year than they have in mm -hmm. the past. Obviously, because of the changes on the in the weapons on the outside. So, because um, I think you're down, little to, brother. Yep, James Cook. I was about to bring him up. Absolutely, yeah. and and I think um, Josh Allen is probably going to end up running a lot more too. But we'll see, man. He can definitely yeah. gun for MVP. This will be the season to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he if he if he has that type of year, this would be the one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. What's up, Will? Bills lost both of their wide receivers. We have yet to see how the rook is going to play. Dolphins, Jets, Pats, Bills. Um, I think I think Keon Coleman is very talented. It's it's just a fun boy. Is nice. Can he get can he get the chemistry together with Josh Allen? So I'm there. Um, real quick, if you're in the chat and you haven't already, please go ahead, like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit that thumbs up. We really appreciate it. it helps us uh, helps YouTube uh, helps us hit the YouTube algorithm and get the show out to more people. So uh, please let's do that.